for some reason, some users can't make the instructed Invector and Emerald AI integration from the official documentation to work. In that case, let's take a quick look at how to easily set up the basics. We are in a simple Emerald AI scene. We added our Invector shooter player. We will be using one of the shooters from the Emerald AI demo scene as our enemy. We set both tag and layer to enemy. Ensure the AI can detect player by setting the detection layer to player. In the faction section, ensure your AI has in faction and the player. We set the player to enemy. On our player, ensure that it has the tag, and in my case, also the layer I set to player. On the shooter manager component, ensure to include the layer of your enemy, such as enemy, in my case, in the damage layers section. Open up the script named V Projectile Control and add the Emerald AI namespace as first thing. Press Control plus F and search for Oncast Collider. Here is where you add the bullet damage part to Emerald, this part. Now open up the Vimili Manager and add the Emerald AI namespace as first thing. Press Control plus F and search for On Damage Hit Invoke, Hit Info. Here is where you add the melee damage part to Emerald. Now add a Emerald General Target Bridge script to the player. Go to Transform from your player into the Target Position modifier. I use the hips, adjust its position and height in the player faction, set your faction to player. I change the health to 100. Let's test the scene. Now, look at the player's health. As you see, we take damage. Let's adjust the AI's box collider as its default capsule colliders for the location-based damage is interfering our shots. Now we damage it. When player dies, we want to ensure that the Emerald Bridge script detects this. In the Emerald General Target Bridge component, under its events, drag the player game object into the on death event and find the method called bool is dead. For the take damage, there are several ways. I found the take hit animations inside the animator, and from there, I use the on recoil, and you can use an int here, zero or one, or whatever transition number the hit animation has. That is it. Thank you for watching.